Hello everyone, I welcome you all for this VTU e Shikshana program on the course Kinematics of Machine. In this module 3, we were discussing on velocity and acceleration analysis of mechanisms. In our previous lecture, we have discussed about Fredastein's method to calculate the angular displacement, angular velocity and angular acceleration of connecting rod of an slider crank mechanism and also linear displacement, linear velocity and linear acceleration of an slider in an slider crank mechanism. So, we have completed both Raven's method that is complex algebra method for 4 bar mechanism and also for slider crank mechanism and we have also completed the analysis of 4 bar and slider crank mechanism using Fredastein's approach. Moving ahead in this lecture 9, I will be addressing a numerical problem on Fredastein's approach to solve a problem on slider crank mechanism. The problem number 4 of our discussion in this module 3 states that in a slider crank mechanism, the crank AB is equal to 200 mm and the connecting rod BC is equal to 750 mm. The line of stroke of the slider is offset by a perpendicular distance of 50 millimeters. If the crank rotates at an angular speed of 20 radians per second and the angular acceleration of 10 radians per second square determine analytically the velocity and acceleration of the slider, angular velocity and angular acceleration of the connecting rod when the angle which the crank makes with the inner dead center is 30 degrees. So, if you carefully observe the problem, we have a slider crank mechanism with slider not in line with the x axis, it has an offset perpendicular to the distance of 50 mm to the x axis. So, if I list out the data given for this problem, we have the crank length that is small a is equal to 200 mm, we have the connecting rod length bc that is small b is equal to 750 mm and he has specified the values of angular velocity and angular acceleration as 20 radians per second and 10 radians per second square respectively and also the eccentricity E is also specified for this problem which is turning out to be 50 millimeters. So, with this data if I list out the given data and picturize the problem, so we can see and analyze the problem like this. So, moving ahead we have the problem number 4 of our discussion on velocity and acceleration analysis of mechanisms using analytical methods. So, we have the data for problem number 4 which is given as the link length AB which is denoted by small a is given for us and also he has given the small b that is BC and he has given the value of eccentricity that is 50 millimeters and he has specified the value of theta, theta is 30 degrees and he has specified the value of omega 1 and alpha 1 which are 20 radians per second and 10 radians per second square. Coming for the dimensions, the connecting rod length is 750 millimeters and the length of the crank is 200 millimeters. 200 millimeters. So, now if I draw the sketch for the given data, we have the sketch is looking like this. Let us have a crank that is AB, we have a connecting rod, but the slider is offset by an 50 mm from positive x axis. So, like this we have the problem. This is C, the link length is specified A and B and also he has specified the angle made by the crank angle that is theta which is 30 degrees. So, now he is asking us to calculate what is the angular velocity and angular acceleration of connecting rod and also linear velocity and linear acceleration of slider. You know to do that let us recall the analysis what we have done for the same arrangement in our previous lecture that is in lecture 8. So, if I see we have analyzed it by using Fredastein's method and we have derived the equations for, for that. So, for the same arrangement we have analyzed and derived the expressions. So, the first expression what we have derived is the expression for 
angular displacement of connecting rod the expression for angular displacement of connecting rod is derived which is beta is equal to sin inverse of e minus a sin theta by b and later we have derived the expression for linear displacement of slider which is a quadratic equation we have the roots of that quadratic equation as minus k1 plus or minus square root of k1 square minus 4k2 by 2 we will get two answer for this let us solve for positive answer where k1 is minus 2a cos theta and k2 is a square minus b square plus e square minus 2a e sin theta and later we have also derived expression for angular and linear velocities that is the angular velocity of connecting rod is given by minus a cos theta by b cos beta into omega 1 whereas linear velocity of slider is a omega 1 sin of beta minus theta by cos beta and also coming for acceleration analysis we have also calculated the angular acceleration of connecting rod and linear acceleration of slider linear acceleration of slider if i recall these formulas and solve we have the first one that is angular displacement of connecting rod that is angular displacement of connecting rod just now i have shown the slide which we have derived in our previous lecture which is nothing but beta is equal to sin inverse of e minus a sin theta divided by b so we know all the values if i substitute and solve i will get the answer as beta is equal to sin inverse of eccentricity is 50 mm minus link length a is known which is 200 mm into sin of theta is 30 degrees divided by b is link length of connecting rod which is 750 millimeters if i solve i'll get the answer for beta and beta is turning out to be minus 3.8266 minus 3.8 double two six degrees so this is the answer for angular displacement of connecting rod next moving further we have the linear displacement of slider so next to find the linear displacement of slider linear displacement of slider coming for linear displacement of slider we have the equation as x is equal to minus k1 plus or minus root of k1 square minus 4k2 divided by 2 where the value of k1 is given by k1 is equal to minus 2a cos theta which we have already derived if i substitute and solve i will get the answer as minus 2 into the value of a is 200 into cos of theta is 30 degrees so therefore i will get the value of k1 which is turning out to be minus 346.41 is the value of k1 so similarly we have k2 k2 is given by a square minus b square plus e square minus 2a e sin theta we know all the values the value of a is known value of a is 200 200 square minus b is 750 750 square plus eccentricity is 50 mm 50 square minus 2 times 200 into 50 into sin of 30 degrees if i substitute the values in the calculator and if i solve i will get the answer as minus 5 lakhs 30000 I will get the answer as minus 5 lakhs 30,000. So, we know the value of k1, we know the value of k2. Hence, if I substitute to this equation, I will get the linear displacement of slider as x1 will be equal to minus k1. k1 is minus 346.41, minus of minus will become plus, plus 346.41, 346.41. I will take plus first root of. 
0.41 square minus 4 into a is 1 into c is k2 the value of k2 is minus 5 lakh 30,000 so minus of minus will become plus 5 lakhs 30,000 whole divided by 2. So if I solve I will get the value of linear displacement as 901.275 mm. So similarly we have one more answer that is if I do for x2 I will get x2 is equal to 346.41 minus root of 346.41 square plus 4 into 5 lakh 30,000 under the root divided by 2. If I do this I will get the answer as x2 is equal to minus 575.126 mm. So we have the two answers for linear displacement of slider always we will go for positive answer hence solve for 901.275 millimeters. So if I solve for 901.275 millimeters of slider displacement I am going to calculate the value, value of angular velocities of both connecting rod as well as slider. For slider we will be calculating the linear velocity coming for velocities coming for velocities first we have angular velocity of connecting rod angular velocity of connecting rod if I move for angular velocity of connecting rod so we have derived the equation in the last class itself which is omega 2 is equal to minus a cos theta divided by b cos beta into omega 1 so which is turning out to be omega 2 is equal to minus 200 into cos of 30 degrees divided by b is 750 into cos of beta beta is turning out to be minus 3.8226 just now we have calculated into omega 1 is given which is 20 radians per second. So if I solve I will get the angular velocity as minus 4.629 radians per second. So this is the value of angular velocity of connecting rod. Now moving forward to find the linear velocity of slider that is coming for linear velocity of slider so coming for linear velocity of slider we have derived the equation for linear velocity of slider which is given by vs is equal to a omega 1 sin of beta minus theta divided by cos beta or this can also be written as minus a omega 1 sin of theta minus beta divided by cos beta where beta is crank angle sorry where theta is crank angle and beta is angular displacement of connecting rod which we have calculated theta is the angle of crank crank angle which is specified for us in the question as 30 degrees. So if I substitute the values and solve I will get the linear velocity of slider as let me solve for the first equation we have a as 200 millimeters omega 1 is given which is 20 radians per second into sin of beta is calculated which is minus 3.8226 minus theta is given data 30 degrees divided by cos of 
beta that is angular displacement of connecting rod which is minus 3.8226. So, hence linear velocity of slider is turning out to be minus 22,000 sorry 2,231.4 millimeters per second which is nothing but minus 2.23 minus 2.231 meters per second. So, this is the solution for linear velocity of slider. So, this is the solution for linear velocity of slider. Next moving for calculating the angular acceleration of connecting rod and linear acceleration of slider. So, coming for accelerations coming for accelerations first one is angular acceleration of connecting rod angular acceleration of connecting rod coming for angular acceleration of connecting rod we know that alpha 2 alpha 2 is given by minus a alpha 1 minus a of alpha 1 cos theta minus omega 1 square sin theta plus b omega 1 square sin beta. Whole this should be divided by b cos beta. So, this expression also we have derived in our previous lecture itself. So, if I substitute all the values and solve, I am going to get the value of alpha 2 that is angular acceleration of connecting rod. The value of A is known which is 200 millimeters, alpha 1 is given 10 radians per second square, theta is given 30 degrees, omega 1 is also given for us in the data itself that is 20 radians per second, theta is 30 degrees b is 750 millimeters, omega 1 is known, beta is calculated as minus 3.8226 degrees. So, we know all the values if I substitute and solve, I am going to get the angular acceleration of connecting rod as 49.7, 49.7 radians per second square. So, the angular acceleration of connecting rod for the given data is 49.7 radians per second square. So, moving forward for the final question what he has asked that is linear acceleration of slider that is linear acceleration of slider. If I move for calculating the linear acceleration of slider we have derived the expression in our previous lecture itself for linear acceleration which is a alpha 1 sin of beta minus theta minus a omega 1 square cos of theta minus beta minus b omega 2 square whole this has to be divided by cos beta. We know all the values in this equation we know the value of a alpha 1 is given in the question, beta is calculated, theta is 30 degrees given, a is the length of crank that is 200 mm, omega 1 is angular velocity of crank that is 20 radians per second which is specified. We know all the values here, omega 2 is also calculated just now. So, if I substitute all the values what we have and solve, I am going to get the linear acceleration of slider as minus 83.69 minus 83.69 meters per second square. So, if you solve using calculator for this equation, you will get the answer in terms of millimeters per second square. So, multiply 10 power minus 3 to convert it into meter per second square. So, this is the complete solution for the given problem. If in case, if he has specified that slider is in line with the x axis 
then what happens to the problem is the question. We have derived expressions for when slider is offset with reference to x axis and we have conducted the analysis and obtained the expressions for displacement, velocity and acceleration. If in case the slider is in line with the x axis then how to approach the problem is the question to be answered. So, let us take the same problem and solve if in case slider is in line with the x axis what is going to happen that is let us take the problem as repeat for repeat the problem for slider in line with x axis slider is in line with x axis that is eccentricity will become 0 very very important that is I am asking you people to solve for the same values when we have this slider crank mechanism like this we have the line of stroke of slider when the slider is in line with the x axis like this with eccentricity will become 0. So, if the problem is like this then how you are going to solve the problem a b c. So, this is a and this is length of the connecting rod b we have the angle theta and we have the angle minus beta. So, this is the problem what I am asking. So, repeat for the same values what you are going to get. So, the data what we have will remain same that is a is given which is 200 mm b is specified that is 750 millimeters take omega 1 as 20 radians per second take alpha 1 as 10 radians per second square 10 radians per second square and theta is also specified you take it as 30 degrees. So, we have solved when the slider is offsetted by an amount of 50 mm from the x axis. Now, I am asking you people to solve when the slider is along the x axis they can also ask questions like this also. So, in such cases what you should do is that you should substitute the eccentricity value as 0 and solve for the same formulas what we have derived. So, in order to make you people understand let me solve this problem because we are not analyzed this case of slider crank mechanism hence let us solve this problem. So, if I move ahead and solve this problem we are going to get the first thing is that I want to calculate what is the angular displacement of connecting rod. We have the formula for angular displacement of connecting rod as coming for displacement analysis coming for displacement analysis we have two displacements to be computed one is angular displacement of connecting rod second one is linear displacement of slider coming for the first one that is angular displacement of connecting rod angular displacement of connecting rod. So, coming for angular displacement of connecting rod we have already derived the expression with eccentricity as beta is equal to sin inverse of E minus A sin theta divided by B. So, now for the careful observation is that the value of eccentricity is 0 for this case and substitute eccentricity as 0 and solve. So, if I do that I will get the value of beta as beta is equal to sin inverse of eccentricity is 0 minus A is given as 200 into sin of 30 degrees divided by the value of B is 750. So, hence the angular displacement for this problem if I solve using calculator I will get the beta value as minus 7 point 662 minus 7 point 662 degrees. So, you can check verify the answer using calculator. Next moving for linear displacement of slider that is moving for linear displacement of slider we have the next one that is linear displacement 
of slider. Coming for linear displacement of slider, we have the equation for x as x is equal to minus k1 plus or minus root of k1 square minus 4k2 divided by 2, where the value of k1 and k2 are known, k1 is minus 2a cos theta which is minus 2 into a is 200 into cos of 30 degrees. If you solve, you will get the answer as this is into not alpha, kindly do not confuse. So, 2 into 200 into cos 30. So, 2 into 200 into cos 30 is turning out to be minus 346.41, minus 346.41. Now, coming for the value of k2, we have derived the equation for k2 as a square minus b square plus e square minus 2ae sin theta. The careful observation is that for the case 2 what we are discussing the value of eccentricity is 0. Since the value of eccentricity is 0 if I substitute, so this term will get cancelled because eccentricity is 0, put eccentricity as 0 here, 0 and anything will become 0, this term will also become 0. I left it with a square minus b square. The value of a that is link length of crank is 200 mm specified that is 200 square minus b connecting rod length that is 750. 200 square minus 750 square will become 5,22,500 which is equal to minus 5,22,500 is the answer for 200 square minus 750 square. So, we know the value of k1 and k2, so substitute to this equation find the value of x that is linear displacement. So, now we will get the two values of x, x1 is turning out to be minus k1, since k1 itself is minus, minus of minus will become plus, it is 346.4 that is 346.4 plus root of b square, again it is 346.4 square minus of minus will become plus 4 into c value is 5,22,500 divided by 2. So, if you solve, you will get the value of linear displacement of slider x1 as 916.5, 916.5 millimeters. So, we have another answer for x1 also, if I use negative sign that is 346.4 minus root of 346.4 square plus 4 into 5,22,500 whole divided by 2. So, if I solve this, I will get the value of x1 again as minus 570 millimeters. Let us always solve for the positive answer. So, take x1 as 916.5 mm. So, moving forward next is velocities coming for velocities. So, under velocities first let us calculate the angular velocity of connecting rod, angular velocity of connecting rod. Coming for angular velocity of connecting rod, we have the expression for omega 2 as minus a cos theta divided by b cos beta into omega 1. So, if I substitute the values and solve, omega 2 will be minus 200 into cos of the new value of beta what we got when the slider is in line with x axis is minus 7.66, minus 7.66 divided by the value of b is 750 into cos of beta is minus 
6 6 numerator is theta right so it is 30 degrees numerator is 30 degrees plus 30 plus 30 divided by 750 into cos of minus 7.66 so if I substitute and solve I will get the omega 2 as minus 4.66 radians per second minus 4.66 radians per second next moving forward for linear velocity of slider second thing is linear velocity of slider so coming for linear velocity of slider we have the formula for linear velocity vs which is given by a sin of beta minus theta divided by cos beta into omega 1 so now the value of vs will be 200 into sin of beta is minus 4.66 sorry 7.622 so that is what we have used minus 7.66 beta is minus 7.66 minus theta is 30 degrees divided by cos beta that is cos of minus 7.66 into omega 1 is 20 so if you solve you will get the linear velocity of slider as minus 2.466 meters per second so initially you will get the answer in millimeters per second multiply 10 power minus 3 to the answer to get the value in meters per second next moving forward for calculation of accelerations that is coming for acceleration analysis first one is angular acceleration of angular acceleration of connecting rod angular acceleration of connecting rod for which we have already derived the equation as alpha 2 which is equal to alpha 2 is given by the formula minus a of cos alpha 1 cos theta into alpha 1 that is cos theta into alpha 1 minus omega 1 square sin theta plus b omega 2 square sin beta whole divided by b cos beta we know all the values in this ex expression the value of a is crank length 200 mm theta is 30 degrees alpha 1 is 10 radians per second square omega 1 is given which is 20 radians per second theta is 30 degrees b is 750 omega 2 is calculated and beta is also calculated if I substitute all the values and solve I will get the angular acceleration of connecting rod as 48.56 48.562 meters per second square so initially you will get the answer in millimeters per second square converted into meters per second square so we are discussing about angular acceleration sorry this would be in radians per second square right so linear acceleration is meters per second square whereas angular acceleration unit is radians per second square so directly you will get the answer now moving for the final one of this problem that is linear acceleration coming for linear acceleration of slider coming for linear acceleration of slider for linear acceleration of slider we have the formula for a s that is 
ये अल्फा वन साइन ऑफ बीटा माइनस थीटा माइनस ए ओमेगा वन स्क्वायर कॉस थीटा माइनस बीटा माइनस वी हैव बी ओमेगा टू स्क्वायर बी ओमेगा टू स्क्वायर होल ऑफ दिस थिंग शुड बी डिवाइड बाय कॉस बीटा so if i substitute all the values what he has given and what i have calculated into this equation and solve i am going to get the value of angular acceleration of slider which is turning out to be minus 81567.26 mm per second square which is nothing but minus 81. 567 meters per second square so this completes the given problem what problem he has asked for us is the slider crank mechanism with slider having eccentricity with reference to x axis so this is the problem what he has given for us for these type of problems we have already conducted the analysis using frederickson's method and we have obtained the equations for angular displacement and linear displacement angular velocity and linear velocity and angular acceleration and linear acceleration of slider i have recalled those expressions what we have derived in our lecture 8 and substituted for those expressions and i obtained the displacements and also the velocities and finally i have calculated the acceleration if in case he ask the question such a way that if slider is in line with the x axis then how to solve is the question for such cases you take the eccentricity value as zero you take the eccentricity value as zero and retain the formulas what we have derived for with eccentricity for such equations substitute wherever you encounter eccentricity as zero so put eccentricity as zero you are going to get the value of angular displacement of connecting rod so similarly making use of this i can proceed forward and solve for linear displacement of slider angular velocity of connecting rod linear velocity of slider angular acceleration of connecting rod and finally linear acceleration of slider so this completes our discussion on frederickson's method for slider crank mechanism so thereby we have completed the analytical method of analyzing the velocity and acceleration of various mechanisms using complex algebra method that is using raven's approach and also using frederickson's method so we have left out with one very important topic that is function generation which i am going to address in our next lecture that's all from this lecture thank you all